Hi, what's up? Um, welcome to my new vlog. I'll go to Kaohsiung today, and um, it's already been great. I took a bus in the wrong direction, and then I had to take the bus back. The bus was also like 20 minutes late. And in addition to that, uh, I got off just now where everyone got off. And there was like a huge fi Filipino family with like over 20 people. And they all got off at one station, right? And I thought, oh, this must be the train station because it's the last stop and everyone was getting off. So I got off as well. <laughs> and it's not where I have to go. It's two kilometers away now, so I have to walk in the sun. But thankfully, I didn't uh, book a train ticket yet. So. I will, I basically have time, like I'm not in a hurry or anything, so yeah, but fucking hell man, that's so stupid. So, um, what else? Oh yeah, roll the intro baby. Oh yeah, by the way, my trip here was wonderful. First, um, I took the bus in the wrong direction, okay. Then I got off the bus too early, and then uh, I couldn't get like a reserved seat, so I had to stand half of my way here, which isn't too bad, but it's just like a lot of things happened which were, weren't that positive, so. find any of the um, light switches but that doesn't matter uh, oops I just arrived at my hotel it's like a small hotel it's super cheap just 15 euros a night it's yeah, just 15 euros a night okay and whoops. well <laughs> so this whole ho hotel smells like weed it's incredible what the fuck and like if you don't know drugs are really illegal in Taiwan they have like huge punishments for them so the whole fucking floor smells like weed, like brutally, okay? And when I just went into the hotel, um, I heard a woman scream, like, in a positive way. So, uh, yeah, they're having a good time here. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna stay here for one night, so, yeah. So the reason I came here, um, actually I came here without a reason. Um, we have holiday right now, like a couple of days off, and I didn't go anywhere besides Taipei for one day. So I thought, you know what, let's do something. So I went to Kaohsiung because everyone says it's super beautiful. And tomorrow will be like the main day where I look around. Today, I think I'll go to a um, night market now where they sell a lot of cool stuff because I can't do that tomorrow. And then I will get some rest and do all the touristy stuff tomorrow. And I'll take you guys with me. So how should I call this video? One day in Kaohsiung? Maybe? I don't know. Come with me. Right now, and I'm chilling with some high school students right now. 
and but they sell like it's like an open market and they have like beer and like snacks so I was hungry stopped by um, actually it's kind of nicer I think I'm gonna stay here they have a lot of food here huh yeah a lot I like it here look at this cap up man it's in like a sweet bread and it's it's kind of good. It's like a burger instead of like a normal bun they put in a sweet bread. I'm talking about food again. We don't want to talk about food, but man, these sweet foods, pretty good. Love it. I just woke up and showered and now I'm fresh and ready to go and I'll go to the object stick now. Yesterday I tried to go to this market but um, it was already closed when I um, was there because um, I was hanging out with some people I met and so funny I met a couple of high schoolers and they were so adorable and they were speaking English so well and um, we we shared a table at like a night market and we talked a bit and well then it was already 10 and then I was trying to, I was going through this market but I only took pictures with my film camera so um I didn't take any videos sorry but um I'll go to the art district now um let's go Whoops. hey guess what I am <laughs> Right before the art district, this is where it starts. Um, but the thing is, uh, I haven't had breakfast yet, and it only opens at 10 a.m. And I'm here at 9:30, so I have 30 minutes to find some food. I want to get like something more local, like there's 7-Eleven, but man, like it has 7-Eleven, not right. So um, I'll find something. Let's go. coffee it is for breakfast well didn't really have dinner yesterday so or whatever they're playing jazz here man in this cafe it's so cool so um ah thank you so much shisha shisha ah okay so basically this cafe is uh linked to jubilee um i'll check them out after i have my coffee so yeah it it looks cool here it looks cute it's like um, the whole thing is at the pier, so um, it's close to the sea, and you can see you can see ships from here. And yeah, um, I'll have some fun here. Ah, uh, so this is funny. I already saw this from my um, classmates. Wait, oops. Ah, so this is funny. I already saw this from my classmates. Um, this thing has a huge dick. Like, look at this. And the worst part, like, they were sending pictures in my my WhatsApp group chat, where the kids went there and like touched it, and it just looked really weird. And, uh, I don't know. So, um, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll link a picture of them in there. Hey, 
so I just went to like a huge bookstore, okay? And whenever I go to such a bookstore, I feel like there's so much information in this world and so much which I don't know. So um I decided to read a book once a month. I'm like, no matter what, just once a month you read a book. And it's like that's not even a lot, right? But I've never come I never like reading books, so um so, um, I guess I'll just um, start reading books and um, do a video about the books. You know, once a month after I read a book and I want to do like, I want to read books about an interesting topic, not like, you know, fantasy, adventures or, some, adventures or something, so yeah, man. I also really want to read Chinese books, man. They look so adorable, so cute! <laughs> I have a cinema here, in an art district, I don't get it. Um, until now I haven't seen any galleries or anything which are open, so I'm um, kind of sad up to now, so I'll keep walking around. Well, there is like a gallery. I guess I can go in there. Okay, this was probably one of the most depressing, depressing art districts I've ever been to. Um, it but like all there is is literally just like bars and not bars but like cafes and you know where you get, can grab some drinks or something but like the whole art is gone okay there is no galleries there is no artists there is no ateliers but you know what I should have known because the thing is with art districts they're they're always moving okay basically what happens is um, ones once artists, you know, like artists, they don't have a lot of money. They go like to places where, which, which are run down, you know, where, where it's cheap to live. Okay, then they will start, you know, their thing there, and it becomes more popular because artists are cool. So the whole district becomes more cool. And then when the district becomes cool, then even the rich people want to live there. And when the rich people want to live there, the artists will move out because they can't afford the rents anymore and can't afford to stay there anymore. And they will move to like another place which is cheap, right? And that's like how the cycle of an art district is. So an art district is never stationary. And I should have known that, but I just thought um, I should check it out, and I did, and it's not good, so don't come here really. It's like, you're not gonna miss anything. Besides that, uh, you know, the cafe was the cafe was good, and they played jazz, thumbs up for that. But the rest, man, no. line okay it's called the sea line I think and it's basically a tram with super huge windows it looks like this and uh, it's like going on a, on a you know on like these double-decker buses doppeldecker I think they even call it doppeldecker even though it's a German word anyway it's like one of these doppeldecker buses you just go around the city and you see a lot of things they have a fucking shopping mall with a uh, how do you call these huge wheels which you find in the music. <laughs> oh, bless me. The huge wheels which you find, uh, which you find in like amusement parks. Well, big wheels. I don't know. Hot wheels. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> You're all basically one of these wheels. So, um, anyways, that, I think that was kind of crazy. Well, maybe I can get a shot of that. It's over there. I'll, I'll put it on. Put it in. Yeah. So, um, anyways, uh, I will go. <laughs> go to the market I wanted to go yesterday now and before that I'll go get something to eat because I'm starving yeah see you.
<laughs> Isn't that fucking crazy? <laughs> it's a shopping mall. It's it's not like an amusement park. It's a shopping mall. Anyways, um, let's keep going to the metro. Anyway, so um, I just had amazing, amazing lunch. Um, it was quite pricey for Taiwanese standards. It was 10 euros, so um, it's not super pricey. But the quality of the stuff was amazing. Every, everything tasted super. Okay, and now I'm, I'm talking about food again, man. I really want to like stop talking about food. I really think it's like a, one of the things I talk too much about. Um, so I have no clue where to go now. So I know I had the struggle with the. Um, with the mall, okay? I still didn't find the socks I want to buy, okay? And like I'm struggling, I really want them, but uh, I'm not finding them, so I will go at 5 p.m. today and look there again. Um, and now I will I will just take the orange line. They have two major um, metro lines. And I'll just take it and go into the pier a bit and see if I'm lucky and find something nice there. So, hey, hey, hey. Joe doesn't know how to go travel, doesn't plan anything. Oopsie! <laughs> Ciao! chain so I can get it everywhere this is the best the best drink in Taiwan it's called Roybush honey latte from Luisa coffee man it's so good it's so creamy and so yummy so mm. well, anyways I'm at a pier now um I don't know exactly how I got here I mean I went on the MRT and then I got off it and then I walked around a bit and then I found it. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've been taking some pictures with my Leica, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, we'll speak later. Alright, so I just came back to Sinchu. And I'll go take a cab now, get back home, because I'm tired as fuck. And I had a good day there, but I was really too tired to like. Take any more footage at the end, so you're not even gonna get any view. I'm so sorry, but um, yeah, I had a good train ride, all good. All good. Let's go home, and I'm sunburned everywhere. Like, can you see this? <laughs> I knew that, anyways. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> oh.